Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a 1980 C30 Dually. And this was originally a fire truck up in Arkansas. A gentleman had it, bought it from an auction, had it for several years, and it just kind of sat in his shop. We got it about six months ago and started working on it. It's got a new tailpipe and a Flowmaster muffler. Most of the paint on this truck is original paint. I'll show you the part that was repainted. It does have a lot of dents and scratches. Being a fire truck, they were constantly in and out of it, not being careful because they had a fire to put out. But you can see some dents here. The bed we finished with a spray and bed liner. It had several holes where the PTO pump came through the floor and all that material was removed or those parts were removed when it was decommissioned. They did leave the PTO pump, but they basically took off the, the siren and the spotlights and stuff. You can see the tailgate, tailgate has some dents. The guy we used, he actually welded in a few panels on the bed before the bed liner. The exhaust sounds good. This is the fender that's been repainted and it's off color from the rest of the truck. And you can see where they fanned it and kind of tried to blend it. Because this is the original paint here and this is kind of where it's blended. The interior is original, the seat's original. You can see it's showing 20,800. We'll get the fast idle off. Showing 20,867 miles. He said that's the actual miles. I have seen military vehicles and fire trucks with low mileage, but it could be 120, it could be 220. Don't really know. But if you look at the brake pedal and the clutch, um, they don't have a lot of wear. It's got a granny four-speed transmission, so there's no overdrive. The first gear is super low. There's no radio. And there's your fuel gauge. Just got the uh, lights, oil pressure, temperature. Just kind of a base truck, a custom deluxe. It's got the painted headliner. Pretty cool material on the seats. The dash does have some cracks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Well, I'll leave it running for a minute. It does have a nice idle. There's another dent right there. When I got the truck, the charging system, the battery was dead. We put a new battery in it. We also put some new door panels on it, which really looked nice. The tires had a lot of tread, but they were cracked. So I put a new set of general grabbers, just had them mounted and balanced. There's a couple more little things right there but it's got the uh, original equipment white I call them fire truck mirrors and there's a hole that goes through the a pillar on both sides and that's where there were spotlights it's a custom deluxe I guess this was truck number five but you can see up here on the front the paint's in very good shape for being original it's got the basic white bumpers that the custom deluxe would have it's a 5.7 liter 350 has power steering. The guy we got it from had replaced some of the hoses, did some tune-up parts, oil change. He said he drove it a little bit, but for the most part, he didn't keep it registered, so he just kept it parked in his building. When we got it, the battery was dead. We put in a new three-year Duracell and found out the charging system was not working, so we put a rebuilt alternator on it. You can see it still has the air pump and the emission controls. And if you'll notice, there's no heater hose going to the firewall. We disconnected that because the heater core is leaking and needs to be replaced. You can see where, the, where it's capped right there on the firewall. But we're coming into the springtime in Texas, so really wasn't that worried about a heater. 
It does have hydro boost brakes and the brakes are excellent. You can kind of see on the hood there's maybe a few little dings, a few places where the paint is thin. Looks like somebody did a little touch up right there. But overall for 1980, considering it was a civil service vehicle driven by the fire department, um, it's a pretty good shape. Kind of, kind of original with quite a few dents, quite a few scratches. The floor mats we put in, it was just some that we had that kind of kind of matched good. The glove box has a little sticker that says, shows the VIN number, the cargo weight, the dimensions. The gearing on it is pretty low. I'm going to guess somewhere around 411. Might even be 456. Because when you put it in fourth gear, it's pretty happy around 60 miles an hour. When you go faster than that, which it will go, you can just tell the engine's kind of revving. You can see lots of holes in the dash on the ashtray. That's where they had their radios and microphones and various fire equipment. I don't know. It's one of these little aftermarket interior lights. It doesn't work. And this tape is covering probably some holes. But the body, the rockers are all really good on this truck. Show you underneath that. I'll show you that power takeoff. I'll get some photos underneath. But there's the uh, power takeoff. You can see the drive shaft. <coughs> it's probably hard to see this in the video. And there's the pump. And it actually had a hole that went up into the bed where the tank was. Of course, all that was removed when it was decommissioned. Still got some Arkansas mud underneath here, but I'll get a bunch of pictures underneath. You can see the cab corners, the rockers are in very good shape. I don't think Arkansas is in the rust belt. You can see the scratches where they probably scraped off the fire department name, kind of gouged the paint. And as I mentioned, the, the truck was in the fire department in Ar Arkansas. It was sold at a at a, an equipment auction. This gentleman bought it. He was a high school coach up there in Arkansas. I don't know the town. I don't remember. And he just kept it at his place. Started kind of fixing it up. And he got older and he couldn't really push the clutch good. And it sat and it sat. And then the family decided it was time to get rid of it. So I was the lucky one. I'm going to show you on this side too. But it drives. Drives are really good. <coughs> There's that Flowmaster exhaust that we put on. And you can get a maybe a little better look at the PTO setup. A little drive shaft deal. But that is not don't know if it's functional you can see the body mounts transfer case is dry see if uh, I can zoom in on that that's the uh, power takeoff and you can see where some places some of the holes were welded up because there were some holes in the bed I'll get it up on the lift. We'll get some more pictures. One of these markers is busted over here on the side. Just trying to show you everything. But overall, it's a it's a good looking truck. Um, I took it up and put some gas in it. Had a pretty good crowd around it. But we're gonna sell it here on Bring a Trailer. It's a great little truck to drive around, go to Home Depot, run some errands. And being a dually, a one ton, you could actually put some weight on it if you need to. But it'd be a good farm truck, it'd be a good Friday night, go to the little drive-in car show kind of cruiser. But it's something you can use and enjoy. If somebody leans against it, you're not gonna be upset. 
but have a great day I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy bidding on bring a trailer hope we get to see you in our showroom if not we can ship it anywhere in the USA or anywhere in the world have a great day I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trailer